Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'd like to review the Desert Fathers. This is a collection of sayings from early Christian monks in the 3rd and 4th century AD in the deserts of Egypt and the Middle East. I thought this book would be particularly relevant right now during this difficult time of the coronavirus outbreak where we're forced to be quarantined and away from the human contact that we're so used to. So who are the Desert Fathers? Um, this is a term that's been applied to 3rd and 4th century people in around Egypt, uh, both men and women, religious and lay people. They heard the story of our Lord speaking with the rich young man. Uh, the rich young man had followed all the commandments since the days of his youth, and he, ha he asked the Lord Jesus, what must he do to attain perfection? And our Lord responds to him and says, if you would be perfect, sell what you have, give to the poor, and you will have treasure laid up in heaven, and then come and follow me. And so that's exactly what these people did. They sold all their earthly treasure, and they moved into the desert to pursue a hermit lifestyle, uh, a very ascetical or monastic life, um, chasing Christian perfection. So this book is not really a book that you would necessarily read cover to cover. Each chapter is focused on a specific topic, things like quiet, self-control, patience, uh, humility, unceasing prayer, you know, all these different topics that may be more relevant to you one day than the next. So what you can do is you can pick up the book, look to the chapter that interests you, and then you can read collections of sayings about that specific topic. And these sayings have been passed down orally um, throughout Christian history, through tradition. So many of them are almost, you know, over a thousand years old, almost 2000 years old. It's really cool to be able to read what some of the early Christian monastics actually taught and said to each other, stories and parables that bring to light uh, what they learned in the desert, living this lifestyle. One of the major themes you'll find throughout the writings of the Desert Fathers is the battle against immediate self-gratification or bodily gratification, um, whether that be from hunger or lust or temptation. Um, they, they put themselves at war uh, and they try to conquer this and bring this under their control. Um, they use the analogy of a man standing at the edge of a very deep pool. Someone who is constantly giving in to immediate self-gratification is standing at the very edge. The enemy only has to walk by and push him in at the moment's notice. But when he has put aside bodily things, he's like a man standing a long way from the pool where the enemy has to drag him kicking and screaming a long way to get him to the water. And God will help him while he is being dragged there. Some of the advice is really interesting and almost funny, but it really il illustrates how how much they were striving for perfection. Uh, one of the monks had a very hard time controlling his tongue and in the self-control section, it says, they said of Agatho that for three years he kept the stone in his mouth in order to teach himself silence. You know, is, is this the most practical advice? Well, I don't know, but it's very interesting and it shows you the great lengths they were going to, to, to be perfect. I'll read one more commentary, and this one is about mindset. Matrona said, Many solitaries living in the desert have been lost because they lived like people in the world. It is better to live in a crowd and want to live a solitary life than to live in solitude and be longing all the time for company. This goes to show how important mindset is. Many of us now have been living in quarantine for quite some time. It's not about the situation we find ourselves in. It's about that internal conflict and the mindset we take to deal with it. So with that, I think you'll find many, many excerpts from this book that can help you think about things in a different light. I think it's very applicable to what we're dealing with right now and the difficulties that lie ahead. And I encourage you to check it out. This is The Desert Fathers, The Sayings of Early Christian Monks. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and stay tuned for more. Thank you.